2018, 2010, I was in a car accident. I flew 50 feet. I broke my T12 vertebrae and was paralyzed from the waist down. And spent three months in the hospital. Spent the rest of that year kind of weak and getting weaker in a back brace. Uh, got another surgery later that in August. Spent the fall and getting even weaker. And a year ago, now I could barely sit up and I had no energy. There would be seven or eight days before I went outside. Even if it was like 90 degrees in the city. And uh, I found out about a fit, physical fitness based rehab. She bought me a motorcycle to build to get me away from the TV and off the, out of bed. And I worked on it until I ran out of gas. Like I just, I was getting weaker and weaker and 130 pounds. And I got in the physical fitness space where you got a spinal cord injury recovery project. And we rented this place seven months ago. And to be a mad scientist, I didn't know what I was going to do. I was in a wheelchair and I had to figure out how to make a living doing this. And I have 20 years worth of skills, but they involved my legs and my back. And became a mad scientist. I came in here and started building motorcycles and, and doing tattoos and uh, painting and sculpting and whatever we can find a market for. And I think it's, it's evolving into big dip and choppers. I build choppers for kids with other guys in my situation. When I'm on my bike, I'm not in a wheelchair. The tank is between my legs. And, uh, the handlebars are in my hand. I'm doing 90 miles an hour like I was before I got hurt. And, not many of these guys get to have a pool custom chopper. They come in here in their wheelchairs and they help me do it. I teach them skills. It's mental and physical and vocational rehab for all of us. Uh, we're just trying to survive. Everybody's here tonight. I don't, you know, I have a lot of really good people in my life that have really, you know, the strength is taken for me to get through this injury and make it this far is because of the amazing people that I have. They're here and they support my shop. They support um, our ideas, and you know, Megan is the best compliment to me on that because I'm a, a terrible dreamer. Yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Number two is because this rehab that has saved your life is thirteen hundred dollars a month. That's, yeah. You know, that's more than our mortgage, and it's something we can't afford to do, but it's something we can't afford not to do, and we'll do what we have to do, and. and I built a motorcycle for the for the event tonight, so I can uh, uh, raffle it off. So I feel like I'm not asking for something for free. For I worked for the last six weeks to build that bike, and, and I did my part to be here. I have something to offer tonight. And everybody that is excited about it, and the most amazing thing to me, I know we need all those things. And I know we need to have, but the people that are here are here to support. They're good people, and they believe in what we're doing. And they have. That's why we're here, that's what we do here. You know what I mean? We're busy living. <laughs>